Can you recall your initial encounter with deep disappointment? Your parents divorced. Your spouse cheated. Your health never returned. And in that moment, you felt the cold chill of winter. The winter seasons of the soul can be dangerous. We're sitting ducks for despair and defeat. We turn away from others. We turn our backs on God. We turn inward and we turn into fearful, cynical, sour souls. But it can also be a developing time. A time in which we learn to trust God, to lean into Him, to depend on His Word, rely on His ways, and trust His character. Seasons of winter make us either better or bitter, and the choice is ours. How do you survive this winter? You shift your focus away from the struggles, and you ponder the hand and power of your Almighty God. Your problem is not that your problem is so big, but that your view of God is too small. Are you aware of His immensity? The Lord your God is the God of gods and the Lord of hosts, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God. Think of the Old Testament promise of a son to Abraham and Sarah. This required a miracle because both were well past childbearing age. Sarah initially laughed at the thought of bouncing their newborn on her knee. Look at this. And then the Lord said to Abraham, now why did Sarah laugh? Why did she say, I'm too old to have a baby? Is anything too hard for the Lord? There's the question. Does he ever give up because the problem is just too great? Does he ever shake his head and say, man, I have no solution for that problem? The answer from every page of your Bible is no, absolutely nothing is too hard for our God. Don't measure the height of the mountain. Ponder the power of the one who made it. Don't tell God how big your storm is. Tell your storm how big your God is. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Magnify. When you magnify something, you make it bigger. Our tendency is to magnify our fears, to magnify our struggles. We place a magnifying glass on the diagnosis, the disease, the death. Stop that. Meditate less on the mess and more on the master. Less on the problems and more on his power.